you that must delegate duties. You shouldn't want to do everything by yourself. You might break down. And aside that, uh, you should carry everyone along in the sense that others should also learn leadership uh, role, you know, because it won't be here forever. So you need to delegate duties. There are some persons here that until you appoint them something to do, you won't know that they are able to do those things. Even they themselves, they are not aware that they are able to give such input until they are being given the opportunity. Everyone should be given an opportunity to do something. And please, when you are being given the opportunity to do something, please make out time and do it well so that next time you will be given such an opportunity again. And even the president will be confident enough to delegate such duties. And also, for the part of the leaders, they have to groom future executives. You know, it will be a very bad of that you are about leaving office and there is no one. Let me say like the, the position of the president, we are not having like three persons on ground that are, that are able to mount that office. It means you didn't do anything. It would be very bad. So they should be conscious of this. Uh, whoever, as in the leaders, they have to be conscious of this fact, you know. Train other people too to take up responsibilities. Not when it's time to hand over. They are looking for who the next president will be. No. While the president is on seat, we should already have someone in mind. Someone, you know, that we know that will be able to handle that office. So as a leader, what would you like to be remembered for? You know, it comes with a lot of responsibility. Is it uh, when your name is mentioned and everybody starts signing? You say, please, oh, that brother, thank God that he has left. No. You should be remembered for something good, maybe a particular thing that you did. Or, oh, when this president was here, meeting used to start on time. We don't spend too much time in the meeting and everything is being done right. You have to work hard as a leader to be remembered for something good is very, very important. So like the Bible says that a good name is better than riches. You know, some people are, some persons actually lobby for positions in the church. It's not because they want to serve you, they are interested in the money. It shouldn't be so. That should not be the case with us. A good name is better than riches. To take your eyes off church money, it should not be heard that, oh, some persons made away with church money. As is usually the case, we hear these things every time. That should not be the case with us at all. Even if someone is trying to do it, Caution the person, say that it is wrong, you know, stand for the truth. The cost of the year, the work of the project, that you get to handle. You know, as you, you have to be able to plan ahead. It's not something that you have a program in March. That March that you're inaugurating a committee for that day, there will be so many lapses and all that. So, you should be able to plan ahead of time so that you can get the proper institution with all issues and make it with law. We are in the meeting. Issues will always arise. Members will have issues. So it's not something you don't do, don't rebuke people publicly. Love everybody. So whenever there is an issue, you don't take sides. You try to settle it and make it with love. Talk to people with love. Don't just talk to people anyhow. People react to things differently. So try to be friendly. Try to talk to, you know, try to correct with love. So you must be a man or a woman of your word. That means it shouldn't be someone that today you said this and when it's being brought up to you, they are like, ah, when did I say that? Yeah, yeah. No. You should be a man or a woman of your word. We should know you for that. Your yes is your yes and your no is your no. 
And whatever you said a few months ago, when we say it again, we should accept it. You know that. Yes, we actually accept that we actually said it. So a leader must have it to help in any way necessary. Very, very important because members will come with their issues. Some may be confused after that the meeting as it's issues that don't concern the meeting. Which one might be their very personal issues. The people will surely come to you. Some with their personal issues. So you must have a listening ear. And the way you attend to that too is very important. You know when somebody comes to confide in you and the next thing is now household discussion. Something somebody came to confide in you. Before we know it, everybody's talking about it. It shouldn't be so. Your members, they should be able to trust you. With their personal things, they should be able to have that confidence in you. You know, you should go out of your, your, your way, go out of your way to solve whatever issues that they bring to you. So God is a rewarder of every good deed. We should not seek earthly rewards. You know, some persons get angry. You know, uh, sometimes the church do give award. Maybe your name was not called. You might get angry that after everything I did in this church, I'm the one that bought the bus, I'm the one that organized this, I'm the one that did this, did that. So the book of Luke chapter 17 verse 10 says, When you have done everything you were ordered to do, Say, we are worthless servants. We have done only what we ought to have done. So that is what is expected of us. We shouldn't look for any reward. And we should not reward ourselves too. You know? So we are working for God. So my time is almost up. So a good leader must be prayerful. You must commit yourself to the prompting of the Holy Spirit in order not to mislead people. You know, I'll just give us the basic thing our principal told us that year. She said that, you know, soldiers at any command, like whatever the commandant says, that's what they do. So he made them to face each other. He gave the command, everybody faced each other. They are guns. So the next command should have been to shoot and to raise your gun up. Shoot. And you can imagine a whole squad was gone. That was it. All of them shot themselves because of that singular command. So you see how much a bad uh, spoken again. Don't come here with your in, in the flesh. I don't know. Don't bring your human weakness to play. When you are speaking to people, uh, it's an organization and we have a uh, laid down principle. So make sure to always abide by the rules of the organization. Don't bring your own personal influence. You must think for us. And finally, we shouldn't just do things any way we want. Maybe we are all adults here and we think that nobody can slap anybody or beat anybody or nothing can happen. I can do it anyhow I want. You know, maybe the secretary might be giving the president headache. You don't develop minutes, all those things. Maybe another executive is misbehaving. So you don't do that. It's not about the president. <laughs> Have it at the back of your mind that leaders are chosen by God to lead, to serve. And at the end, you will surely give account. It doesn't end here. Let me tell us that. For some of us that will take this on seriously, doors will be opened for you. Depending on how you handle this, Okay. Bible says that 
Yes, in a situation whereby the leader is guiding you really, and happy day to achieve, but they're not turning up. It's not occasional, legal, or continuously. What do the leader need? We have bad followers. We have bad leaders. So, like some of us will attest, we have met some persons and we're like, oh, if I had this math teacher, maybe I would have been better in math. So, if the leader says that, this system is not working. It should be strategized. You should look for something else that will work. You will definitely arrive at it.